As you fall forward, you had enough momentum oh, that no. you could grab onto the far end, but as you fall and hit that side, the jolt of that knocks you backwards, and you were unable to hold him as you start to fall to the ground. Uh, Anything you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to attack. You have six oh, seconds oh, as you fall. Oh, God, I don't have anything. No, um, I, I throw a rope. I throw my rope. Down. I don't know if you have enough time for that, sorry. No, we got one arm, but it's a throw, no? <laughs> I don't think so. It's a, it's a split second thing. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. fall. Yeah. As you're falling, you're gonna take some of this. That's cool. I don't have any. <laughs> All right. I told you to let me throw you. You will take six bludgeoning from banging on the walls, and then you will take. Oh no. 14 yes. piercing. Ooh. You land, and it goes right through the meat of your leg. <laughs> pull it's it up. Oh. You pull it up to extract it, and you're able to get free of the spike. But man, oofa, did that oofa. hurt. Oofa. Oofa. You are now at the bottom of this hole. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to plop down and pull out my little balm and okay. start rubbing it on. Start rubbing it on your... I'm going to wiggle my nose and hop thing. down there to oh, see if he's OK. So she floats down so gracefully like it's just absolutely nothing. Are you all right? No! Oh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you are. Okay. Do you pull yourself up? Yeah. Ferris pulls yeah. himself up on the other side. So uh, I've cast the Balm of the Summer Court, mm -hmm. which is my fae ability uh, with this cream, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm putting it on the, the wound specifically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and use all of them on me. <laughs> so there. there. So that's there. 10, that's 16, fair. 17, 18 points back. Nice. Uh, and then I get five uh, bonus speed and uh, five bonus uh, temporary hit points. Okay, great. So he rubs this cream on his leg, you watch him do that, and it, it, it sort of heals itself, knits itself back up. Yeah, there's like a vapor that comes Ooh. out and then back in, because it should go to another person, but right. it comes back to me. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Selfish vapor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, and, and he, you know, his leg seems to, shakes it out a little bit, stretches. Ooh. Uh, but he's all fit mm -hmm. as a fiddle. Uh, I'd like to throw my rope down and pull him back up. All right, so then as you're, as you're sitting there uh, helping yourself and she's floating over this, yeah. well, you uh, have to land eventually. Yeah. So you land over there next to him, safe out of the, out of the spikes. A rope comes tumbling down over you your You want me head. to help you up? Before I leave, I'm going to check that body. All right. So yes, you go yeah. over to the body. I'm weaving through the spikes. <laughs> yes, like, wow, which you're, you're small enough to sort of fit through. <laughs> Gotta get greedy. Yeah. <laughs> Secret truly, side truly. Side. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So you go look at the body. It's got a it's got a like a pith helmet on, like an adventurer's Ooh. explorer's helmet. Uh -huh. Um and it's it's wearing kind of, you know, like a khaki suit with some like gear and stuff on it, like it's a true explorer. Definitely uh. like big white bushy mustache. At one like, point, yeah. at one point flash yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> go ahead and make an investigation check if you I want. Oh, yeah, you. Here we go. You're my good luck check. I am your good lecture. Plus three. You're going through pockets and things like that, and there's there's not much on them that matters to you. There's some parchment and stuff, but it's all since sort of disintegrated into nothing. What an ill-prepared adventurer. Very ill-prepared. <laughs> I'm taking the helmet. Go ahead and take the helmet. Yeah. Good idea. You've got th like, th I have, like two hats. Two hats now. Do you always have two hats? I do. Two hats, Ricky. <laughs> two hats, Ricky. <laughs> two hats, Ricky. Street name. Do you collect those things or something? Yeah, I'm collecting everything right now. <laughs> <laughs> I put it back in my pack and uh, you're down here with me, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you need help? You got a rope right now. You got a rope hanging I'm down there. I'm going to rope yeah. just to make a mess. Yeah, of course you can. But I'm not. He's right. angry. He's climb. angry with me. Don't worry. <laughs> I won't drop you like Vero's did. Hey. I'm just going to climb on your back. I feel more comfortable there. So he's holding on. I just feel like if he was a comely maiden, you wouldn't have dropped him. Oh, that's so not fair. I love my brother. I tripped. 
Mm -hmm. uh, fair, fair. Mm. I tripped. <laughs> so you start to scale up the rope. You're holding on to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We say you take you take your time. You make yeah. it up safely. You are all on the other side. Now you have been climbing cross. <laughs> using your second story ability, so you can do it. You're just holding on, you make it over there, and you step across, and you're like, what's the big deal? <laughs> After causing this <laughs> chasm in the first place, yes. This hallway seems to continue again for like another 30 feet, and then it turns to the left. Okay, I'm gonna look at it. Again, I'm gonna investigate. Do you have to, do, do you wanna do it? Oh, sure, I should, I should just Wait. take it. And it's a zero, right? Yeah. Yes. It all looks very safe to you. Someone else wanna go? <laughs> Someone else wanna look down this hallway? Uh, anyone who's got better vision than do you, I. Well, it's lit now. So. Oh, it is lit. Oh, yeah. it's lit now. oh, it goes all the way, yeah. yeah. I have a plus eight investigation, but I don't know if I can investigate for traps. Can yeah, you I? Can. Sure. Anyone can. Oh, let's investigate for traps. <laughs> so she just did it and said it was fine. Oh, okay. If you want to take a second look, you can add your modifier to what she rolled. Okay, yes. This has been a pattern. Like, she <laughs> yeah. said it's yeah. fine. So but I have a plus right. eight. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so go ahead. I have a plus you're adding, eight. So you're adding an eight to the roll that I made here. Yeah. It looks just fine to you as well. Ugh. Giddy up. All right, yeah. you guys just start Here walking down the hall. Yeah. Testing yeah. out those new catchphrases. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you walk down the hall, you keep stepping forward, you can feel it's sort of, you know, solid under your feet so far. Uh -huh. And you come to the corner unscathed. Okay. As you turn the That's corner, <laughs> we are going to draw this out. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> so this is where you're coming from. Okay. okay. As you peer around this corner, the light has continued to go down. You can actually see it way at the far end of this huge room, huge hall. You can see it's actually still making its way around this huge space. As you peer in, you see a very large, very ornate sarcophagus in the center of the room, actually lifted up on kind of a dais in the center of the room. There are four smaller sarcophagi lined either side of it, and way at the other end of the room, you see mounds and mounds of money, jewelry, armor, weapons. You also see hanging on the wall a beautiful axe with imagery of undead on it. That's what we need. I don't need to tell you. We don't know what that is, right? Don't you dare run in there. No. Don't you dare run in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> grab your hands. Easy. Stop me. Someone yeah, hold them. Oh, no, easy. I easy. Stop, easy. stop me. Someone hold them. <laughs> All of this is probably cursed. It's a trap, but we need that axe. You also see on top of, so there's a large stone case at the foot of this sarcophagus that appears to be similar to the one you saw up there. All of these smaller ones have smaller cases on top. There are organs in there. Probably. Maybe, maybe some of them are missing the jars that we have or something. We don't know. Mm. Secrets hide within plain sight. Those who are bold shall profit. That's it. I'm going in. No, we're oh, going. no. Tie him up. Right. We'll all die. And then you won't be able to spend the all the money you've got. Just grab him by the scruff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how can do we you... look for traps in this room? Yes, <laughs> we must. We must. We must. Annabella, so you've okay. got another, you know, good twenty-five feet of uh, hallway. You can check. Wait, okay. is it lit up? It yes, is... it is all lit up. Yes. Yeah. So it's not great. It's a solid thirteen. <laughs> I should have rolled it too. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, this section looks okay to you. Are there footprints here? You can do an investigation check for that. Oh. 19 plus 8. 19 plus 8. You look down, you do, again, similar to upstairs, you see boot prints that are very old. Okay. Okay. Shall we enter? Do you want to tell us? We need the ox, yeah. so yes. Do we need to get in. What? We you don't see have that? much of a choice. I <laughs> see footprints that are very old. Oh. Can let's go hear? inside. All right, let's go. Okay. So it's. Where's May's Mume? first. Mume. I'm just reading the Ricky, me. I'm here, mm -hmm. and then she's, wait, wait, she's there. Everything seems to be the same. You're good at scaling. It's a great idea. I'm gonna look at the walls around to see if there's any messaging or any, uh, mm -hmm. before I climb up there and kind of try to get to the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do a investigation check to see if, there, if I see any... You're specifically looking for, like, text. Texts, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can do an investigation Great. on that. Ten. 
plus zero, right? Yeah. So there is sort of different imagery and text all around. You don't, you can't read it. It's different pictographs than what you are used to. Maybe it's something more ancient. Maybe it's something more ceremonial. It'd be hard to tell. But mostly you're seeing imagery of great battles, leadership. This definitely seems to be ornate. It's less gilded and mm -hmm. gold and glittering as the other one, but this one is sort of more in honor of. Mm. And is anything sticking out? Like any of them look different than each other? Perception check. Perception check. 12. 12. Plus? Yes, 8. So 12 plus 8? Yes. So a dirty 20? Yeah. Looking around, you can, you know, you're sort of the different panels of these things. You do see one of a man who appears to be particularly princely, and he's holding an image of that axe that you see hanging on the wall as he vanquishes his foes in front of him. Oh, it looks just like, like looking in a mirror. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> Interesting. I guess I'm climbing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I think to I'm going to climb, climb over to the first sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. I'll say this as well. Mm. Just add this. There are columns. Are there anything on those columns? Again, like the ceremonial sort of decorations, things like that. But I'll give you columns here. A couple of them don't reach the ceiling. So this is a very tall room, a good like 30 foot don't high even ceiling. Reach the ceiling. A couple of them look like they probably did at one point, but some of them have fallen apart and you can even see there's like crumbles of those columns on the floor. I'm Mume so is nervous. So confused She's and so scared. freaked out. <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm super nervous. <laughs> I'm climbing over to the first sarcophagus and I'm investigating it. I gotta look at it. You're climbing first. like on the walls? Yeah. Okay. Because how it's, far are the way are they? They're from about me? five feet from the walls, each of them. Great. I'm gonna climb these walls and I'm gonna lean over as much as I can, uh -huh. sort of one of these, like holding Ooh. on. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna look for any stuff that hopefully I can read because okay. I know a bit about this. And okay. I have history knowledge. Do you wanna do a history check on it rather than an investigation? Sure. Okay. So you see her sort of scale the walls, and she, she, she finds her footholds and her handholds. She pulls herself around the corner, around the. There's even a little moment in the corner where it's a little hairy because you got to transfer your weight in a weird way. But you get yourself up alongside that first sarcophagus mm -hmm. um, as you kind of lean out, holding on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Trying to see what you can see. Mm -hmm. Make a history check if you can recognize it. <laughs> hmm. Two plus three. It's hard for you to tell. Again, you have, you have not encountered a room of this kind of grandeur before yeah, in your experiences. Yeah, it's so new. But there's so many other ones I can look at. Yes. Jump on it. Mm. You should jump on it. <laughs> you need to get a closer look. Jump mm. on it. Just mm. check the next one. I'm into it. You want me to jump on this shit? I'm into it. I mean, maybe you see something we don't. Okay, fine. Let's do it. <laughs> you <laughs> leap Beryl's off the suggestion. wall. At Beryl's suggestion, Mumei leaps off the wall and it's like not a that big of a jump. Yes. Lands yeah. on top of the sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. um, wow, good landing. As you land. When you land, you hear a little scraping inside. Uh, uh, Viros. And I'm like, yes. and I go, or Hello. <laughs> Anybody uh, sleeping or awake in there? You don't hear a response, you hear a No, it sucks to be dead. And yeah. then a little, another sort of scrape along the top. Oh, it sucks oh. in there. Wait, Mume, uh, if you can reach that ax, uh, we know that it has properties against the reanimated things. If we're going to fight the, the undead, it would be our most valuable weapon. You're right. Can so, you reach it? I'm gonna jump back onto the wall. Okay, you jump back onto the wall. Yeah. I'm now gonna shimmy over to the next sarcophagi. I don't know why I'm taking this on myself. Does anyone want to follow <laughs> me in this town? Not the best scale. Not the best onto the sar Over to the next sarcophagus. <laughs> and I lean over and uh -huh. do another history check. And about okay. A Hopefully scale? this one's better. No. Oh, I thought you were scared. Seventeen. Plus Seventeen. Three. Three twenty. All right. Looking down at this, you're you're pretty sure that this this sarcophagus is is a of a, of a priest or 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 a noble, someone higher higher up, sort of in a court of a, of the, sort of the kings of the Kektesh. However, as this happens, and the stone top of this one falls out, he slings off my the top. plan worked out. <laughs> well, now we have a target. We do. Mm. And when there's a target, there's a plan. Yeah. <laughs> it starts climbing out. As it climbs out, the first thing it sees, ah, it was facing this way actually, so. First thing it sees is all of you gathered on that end. It Sweet. climbs out and it moves forward. Mm. 
mm. right up to Ricky, unfortunately. Okay, on yeah. that side. Okay, can I immediately pull out my bag we of tricks? We are in initiative. Shit, damn it. Uh, good try. <laughs> this bag. Tried you to, tried to sneak it in there. Tried to sneak it in there. Back. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Five for Veros. Eighteen. Eighteen for Beryl. Thirteen. Thirteen for Annabella. Seven. Seven for Ricky and Mume. Nine. A nine for Mume. All right, Beryl, as it starts rumbling forward 20 feet and it's bearing down on Ricky, what do you do? This might be a silly question, but does it look threatening? I'm gonna call out to Ricky and say, Ricky, <laughs> what? Does that creature look like it can be reasoned with? Because <laughs> he goes, yeah. no. <laughs> Ricky's at an arm towards you. Yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how threatened a, do you oh, feel oh, right do now? Something. A black tongue starts to loll out of its mouth Come as it comes on. closer. Something. I draw Betty. <laughs> draw Betty out. And I'm gonna move forward. Come forward next to him. And strike it. Go for it. All right, so this is gonna be a reckless attack. Mm -hmm. So Take it advantage. will have advantage against me until gotcha. my next turn. <laughs> 17. Oh uh, yeah, that'll hit. Okay. And then, let's see, right. <laughs> My rolls. So the first attack does five slashing damage. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll a second time. Oh wait, would the second, no, this wouldn't have it, would it? Advantage? You don't have advantage on the second one. Yeah. The reckless is just the first attack. Oh, uh, 25. Strong hit. All right, and then, yeah. okay, eight. Eight damage on that one. So yes, barrels up again, <laughs> yeah. as we like, and two mm -hmm. good strikes with Betty right across this thing's face. However, you do feel like it does not take everything that you want ah. from it. Does okay. it feel particularly like it's resilient? It does seem to be somewhat mm. resilient to Somewhat your, resilient. Not somewhat nasty. resilient to what you have done to it. Annabella is next. Okay, I am gonna do dissonant whispers mm -hmm. to just terrible, terrible pain to this <laughs> okay. undead friggin' zombie, and and let's kill it. Yeah. What do, no, you, what do your it. dissonant yeah. whispers say? Oh, this zombie is hearing its mummy. dad. <laughs> mummy. Oh, this mummy is hearing its dad <laughs> back from when it was alive. Okay. And it's all the oh you. You should have had a better job. Yeah. <laughs> you should have married that girl. All the horrible things. Okay. How did he know he was a priest, wasn't he? Well, the one you're looking at is a priest. This is, we don't, you couldn't we don't tell who that is. is. And everyone has a mother. Everyone but you know what? A, that a disappointed daddy. someone. Or a mummy. Okay. Okay. It's a so mummy that's and all they're hearing. It all right, all the uh, wisdom saving throw. Here it comes. Ooh, pretty good. Ooh. That's going to be a 21. Ooh. Against yours. So, so against your 15, I think? Yeah, 15. <laughs> On a successful save, the target takes half as much damage. damage. Okay, so you, it doesn't okay. have to move away. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love how nicely you all shared damage. Mm -hmm. 10. 10 so damage. Nice. And I take half of that. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, so yes, yeah, so, so he kind of shakes it off, but you know, you, you, you just feel that like you were mean enough. Okay, cool. You were mean enough. You weren't as mean as you usually okay. are, but you were mean enough. I was mean. <laughs> Mume, your turn. Okay, I'd like to get down on the ground mm -hmm. and you, I have 20 bolts in my quiver. Yes. So I'd like to... You're gonna fire on it? Yep. Fantastic. You also can use your sneak damage on this because it is involved with your allies. Tro. So yeah, so go ahead and roll your attack. So nine plus nine seven plus seven. Is yeah. it 16? Yeah, you hit. Yeah, I hit. So roll your damage and then roll 3d6. 1d6 plus 4, 5, 6. A 6. 6 plus the 5, so 11 oh. total. 11, 11 total. total. Got okay, it. 11 Thank total. You. So the arrow flies true and it hits him, and you, you did a really good job of like finding just the right spot to hit him. But again, you feel like it hits him and it just kind of doesn't. What you're used to seeing, the reaction you're used to seeing, it do, it's like not, it's about mm -hmm. half as much as you're used to. I have a question for you guys. Next time, well, I guess everybody has to go and then I would ask this. Should I wait? No, as a free action, no, you can speak. shout stuff. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> next time we go through this process, don't want me to keep going that way and try to get the ax while you fight get shit the off. Axe. Get, get the, the axe. Get the axe. Strategy. There's a lot of sarcophagi in here. Is that the We're going to need that axe, though. Yes, yeah. quickly. Cool. Make haste. Check for traps. 
Right, right, right. <laughs> and I believe that it's on the other side, right? Yeah, the that the axe is way at the far end on the wall on top of a pile so of gold. So I'm not going to fight. I'm just going to, that's my plan yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Cool. Okay. Because now we sort of know what these guys are going to be. Yeah. Unless they escalate, which could happen because the first one is like in his. You. <laughs> if one's gnawing out one's jugular, we'll call back. <laughs> right, right, right. Fine. Ricky. It's my turn. It's your turn. Ricky Huckster has had enough. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He uh, springs uh, his hand, and you can see that there was actually a lever there that pulls a small vial out. He grabs it with his hand, and he motions, and his sleeve pulls up, and he strikes it across this like rough uh, surface. Yes. So it sparks out, and a flaming sword erupts from this potion. And it's a bonus action, Fantastic. so I'm going to use Flame Blade Amazing. on this stupid mummy. Stupid mummy! <laughs> Here I come! <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight. It doesn't work. Ah. <laughs> but I hold it out in front of me. Can you shake it like it this? It is quite fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Damn, that was so cool. That was, was so cool. Good. <laughs> and you look cool doing it yeah. until, <laughs> until I you kind of freeze and don't know how to stab with it. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I do. <laughs> well, you look intimidating. Just go with that for now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fake it to make it, young man. I'm <laughs> faking it. <laughs> you shake it in front of it. First of all, this mummy, you can see it has like like lights in its eye, where its eyes should be, and it kind of rakes over the four of you that are here, <sighs> looking at all of you. You will all make wisdom saving throws. Is this magical based? This is magically based. Great. Oh, so awesome. if you have advantage, you can I have keep advantage. it. 18. 18 for Beryl. 10. Oh. Veros has 10. 10. Annabella has 10. I have five. You are not in this. Oh, cool, cool. Just Ricky. 17. 17 for Ricky. Okay. Those of you who failed, you are frightened until the end of its next turn. Basically, that means that on your turn, you have to spend it getting as far, taking the dash action to get as far away from this thing as you possibly can. Oh. Even though I have my bardic inspiration, you, you want to add, add you want to add eight to your to your roll with your bardic yeah. inspiration. Okay, so roll your d8. Eight. See what you get. Good call. Very good call. Mm -hmm. nice. Right. Plus three. three. Plus three? Thirteen. You are not affected by this. <gasps> nice, 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 nice. You are the only one who is frightened. I haven't gone uh, yet. But the, because of what this this look it gave, so that so the the mummy raked across the four of you, looking at you. Those three were like, "Whoa, that's scary!" But I'm okay. He looked at you, however, and you went, "Woo!" <laughs> Did one of those like Jackie Gleason jumps where both feet come off the ground, and on your turn, you will spend it getting as far away from him as possible. And a little pee came out. <laughs> Just a little. That's disappointing. <laughs> oh, really we're all something special cooked up. The rest of you are immune to this dreadful glare for oh, the next great. 24 hours. Oh, the next 24 hours. The next 24 hours. Next 24 hours. Yeah. You're good. However, at the same time, after he looks at you, he's going to ball his hand into a fist and he looks at Ricky. I got fire. <laughs> waving this little fiery sword at him and he punches straight for Ricky's face. I have a 20. Oh, that hits. That'll hit oh. you. <laughs> all right. Gosh. You are going to take, that is eight bludgeoning damage, okay. plus <clears throat> another eight necrotic oh, damage. Gosh. Now make a constitution saving throw, please. I have advantage, because I took do. the tablet. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Seamus. Thank you, Seamus. <laughs> <laughs> No, I rolled a six and a four. <laughs> so, so six. The six plus my constitution is Same eight. Throat. Is eight? You are cursed. No! With mummy rot. Gosh. You cannot oh, no. regain hit points. Oh no. And in 24 hours, if we don't cure it, <gasps> your maximum hit points will go down. Can I do something? I can't Unfortunately, gain hit you can't. He cannot gain can't hit be points. Healed. He cannot be healed. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. It's bad. It's real bad. Lucky. Uh, <laughs> we gotta kill this thing. Uh -huh. That is its turn. Uh, oh my up gosh. to Viros, you're oh. gonna do some running. So you can move 60 feet <laughs> as far away from this thing as you possibly He's can. He's displeased. Why don't you run towards her to help her with the axe? I'm going to. He has to, to get as far, yeah, like I his whole thing opposite. is just to get as far away from that thing as possible. Okay. It'll I'm be. I'm going straight down towards the axe. I mean. Yeah, that's the direction. Yeah, I mean, that's the direction at least. 
Oh, is it in the back, the back corner? I can go to that back. Okay. It's in the middle of the back wall. That's what wall. I thought, okay, okay. Yeah. So you can get to there. Jeez. So Virus goes, ah! uh. <laughs> and turns and runs as fast as he can down the side, just just pumping it. I mean, it's fast. Far I mean, make no can. mistake, you still all go, wow, it's fast. <laughs> Um, All right. Also, just in full transparency, yes. uh, Flame Blade is a concentration spell. It is a concentration spell. So I was spell. injured, so I have to make a concentration check. Go ahead and go for it. Just to see. Nice plane. Oh, yes. He 19, keeps it. so high math. All right, fantastic. We are back to barrel. Seeing what's happening. <laughs> oh, God. I'm realizing I have no magic weapons. Um, I place my hand upon Ricky's shoulder and tell him, it's not enough to be angry. You must learn to channel your rage. It's at this moment you see like sort of fire, a light in Beryl's eyes. Steam um, coming out of the pierced nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hot breath, <laughs> anger. And I'm going to attempt to end this profane creature's existence. Get him. Yeah. Get him. All right, so if I can hit it. I'm going to use Betty, the great okay. axe. Oh, God. 13. Uh, that will hit. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, good. And go. then I'm going to make two attacks. Should I just roll yeah, them just both go now? Roll both. All right. And then uh, 11. It hits. Oh, sweet. There okay. They're pretty there squishy. Just bandages. Mm. A little bit of magic. <laughs> and these will give me plus two damage. Right. Yes, because you're raging. Mm hmm. Huh. Okay. So I got a 15 and a 5. And so then 20, and yeah. then plus your two as well. Did mm -hmm. you already add that in? No. Okay, so then, and on both of them. So that'd be so plus four. 24. Yeah. Total mm -hmm. damage. All right, mm -hmm. great. So again, it doesn't take as much as you'd like it to, but you slash into it twice with Betty, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, significantly hurt it. Mm -hmm. It's still standing. I'm going to also call upon my ancestral guardian for help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the room starts to echo as you hear, like a cackle. Mm -hmm. Like a. <laughs> And you just see like this like mischievous little green head pop up <laughs> next to me. And you hear it say like, pull your head out of your ass and hit it harder. <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> you see Beryl kind of like shake her head and be like, can you just like go away? <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, well, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> and it's going to go and then swirl around Ricky and the creature will gain disadvantage on any attack not against me. Okay. So it's actually going to protect all my allies. I can also choose a, I think target also gains resistance to damage. What does that mean? Like any damage? Having actual damage, but not like necrotic damage. So any uh, energy like, damage like, okay. would be fine, but actual damage would be halved. So with weapon, resistance. weapon okay. damage. And Slashing, piercing, bludgeoning. Yeah. Is going to last until my rage ends. Okay. So for the next minute. All right, fantastic. Annabella. Yeah, I'm gonna use my bag of tricks. Okay. <laughs> and let's let's feed this thing. Let's pull something out. I gotta roll, what do I roll here? A one, I roll an eight to f figure out what animal it is. Roll an eight. Pull something out. A seven. A dire wolf. <sighs> Ooh. A dire wolf comes out. <gasps> so he, Annabella oh reaches God, into her eyes. little bag. Yeah. Her eyes look just like yeah. that. She throws yeah. this cute little fuzzy pom pom in the air. Yeah. In the air, it turns into a dire wolf. Sick. Which leaps <laughs> down onto the ground. We don't have one of those, so we're going to use Ionis's Mr. Fluffy. He is going to stand in for our dire wolf who gets thrown yes. out of your bag of tricks and lands on the ground about there. You feel good? Yes. Cool. Do you want to do anything else like move or command it? Yeah. I command it and I say, you listen to your mother. <laughs> I want you to bite its neck off. <laughs> and then take all the dressings and run, baby, run. So that all the clothes and then it's just like mushy, like mushy bones and insides. So that the thing is standing, but then it just goes like this. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. The the large dog is going to attempt to understand what all of that means. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. I speak to animals. <laughs> Would you like to move? Yes, please. <laughs> you can move 30 feet. Okay. Six squares. Cool. Annabella <laughs> throws this thing out of her bag, does all of this, take yeah, it to red and yeah. it just goes like this, and then she bolts for, we'll look at her for like, 30 feet. Yeah. Does it work? Yeah, it's there. So 
on your initiative, I mm -hmm. guess it can now take its turn. Yeah. So what yes. would you like the dire wolf to do? Wow. I wanted to rip its throat out. The wolf has advantage on attack rolls against a creature if at least one of the wolf's allies is within five feet of and the Ricky creature. And Ricky advantage, yeah. so I have advantage, two so two. Advantage. Two. Mm -hmm. two. Nice. Nice. Chomp, chomp, yeah. bitch. Okay. Oh. 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 oh, dear. With advantage, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wolf. So like a solid plus five. Yeah. It's so like a nine. A nine. Uh. So it's really cute. Oh. Oh. The dire wolf comes up and he's like, "I'm gonna bite ya," <laughs> and he just bites the air at oh. its feet. Unfortunately. <laughs> no. It tried. Mume, your turn. So I'd like to just run my ass as far as I can towards cool. that axe. So you can take a dash action, which means you're foregoing your main action. You can go twice your speed. Great. It's probably sixty, 60. feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my guess is that'll get you pretty much to that back wall. Oh, I mean, we can count it out, count, but yeah. I'll say you make it. So you run all the way to that back wall. But then also I can, like, it says when you make a running jump, the distance you cover increases by four feet. True. So I'd like to jump and then catch that wall, basically. Okay. I don't so know why I'm like trying to stay mounds, on this wall, y'all, There's like mounds like I I of money at the base of this wall. I don't wall. want to touch that. So right before you get to the money, you leap up in the air and go to grab on to Yeah, I'm the... not trying to touch no money. Okay, I allow it. It's it's cool, so yeah. we're going to do it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Great. So she takes off running down, the, running down the aisle. Luckily, nothing sort of triggers or anything like that. She leaps over the money and grabs onto the wall like a spider monkey. Yep. Yeah. Ricky, it is now your turn. We have seen a, a jackal, an eagle, an alligator, and a cat in sort of like a worshipful position. Yes. I'm running through like my Rolodex of sort of animals. Yes. And as I'm doing this, I'm slowly, my gear is melding back into me and everything yes. is turning black and I become a black cat. But like a house cat, not Mr. Fluffy. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and then I book it. <laughs> my so uh, flame blade goes out. Flame blade goes out. Yeah. So you'd come down to be a, a little cat. Yes. Now that's a bonus action for you, right? It is. If you book it, you will provoke. A attack opportunity. Fantastic. So, because he he's not engaged with anybody else. He's only fought you and the dire wolf. He is engaged. Barrel, barrel hit him. Mm -hmm. If anyone decides to back away without disengaging, he gets a chance to to swipe at you. Happy. He would have disadvantage though. He would have yeah. disadvantage. And I yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so you're just gonna it's back up. It's my best up. chance to get All right. out of here. He's gonna take a swipe at you with that fist as you go. So the cat has an AC of 12. I miss. She Thank takes God. a swipe with that fist, but you're just wily enough to dodge you and jump out win. of the way. Yeah. Where do you wanna go? So I'm actually going to head, I have a, th a 30 movement speed. I'm gonna go to the second car sarcophagus. No, right, yeah. It's right there. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, mummy's turn. Mm -hmm. So you're still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's going to... You are immune to that. So he's gonna glare at you, but you're like not yeah. having it. Yeah. He doesn't do anything for you. And instead, he's gonna move that fist right in your face. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, 11 to hit. No. Just misses, yeah. All right. He is gonna stay kind of locked in that. He thinks mm -hmm. he thinks you're the most interesting thing right now. Mm -hmm. Viros, you are out of your frightened state right now. You've come to, you've gotten far enough away from it that you feel better. I've got my war hammer. I see what's transpired. I'm embarrassed yes. for what's happened in that <laughs> round. So I look, I see you. You basically have the ax in grasp. I don't need to assist you because you've impressed the group royally so far with your speed. <laughs> what I want to do, so I know that we've got to get this thing away from that corner. Uh -huh. So I want to get it somewhere in the middle of the room at least, so it's closer to the arc, so we don't have to waste turns getting back all the way across the room with it. So I go with my charisma and intimidation, I go, hey, you bastard, you thought I was scared? Get over here and fight me like a man, I'm a student of war. I mean, it is true. Yeah. This and that's what I do. Okay, intimidation. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. And it's a, it's a, wait, I've got a. Hashtag student war. It's a two plus four. See, understand, I'm coming out of this haze. So you, you are very intimidating, but yeah. it's a little undercut by the pee stain on your leg. Ah! From your, from your oh, fearful retreat. I drank a lot of ale before the journey set out. I forgot to use the lavatory before we left. <laughs> and then with the disorientation, it was all a big mess. Listen. <laughs> This circumstance is unusual. <laughs> but yes, nice try. <laughs> That's the Viros explanation. Fantastic, Viros. Beryl, your turn. You're still raging. Oh my God. Let's end these charades and shenanigans and chicanery. Your vocabulary was so Because I attacked you. Because I have disadvantage Thank on everyone you. else, right? Yes. I attacked you. So yes, right. yeah. You only have, you don't have disadvantage right. against me. Just on everyone. 
I need that. Oh. An 18 and a 13. Both of those will hit. Okay. Sweet. Go ahead, take your damage. I'm still raging, so these, there will oh, be a you're plus need all four. The pluses, yeah. All right, so I got a six and a five. That's 11 mm -hmm. plus eight from my weapon damage. That's 19 plus four, 23. Yeah. 23. Again, takes half. Yeah. But yeah, you are just slashing into this thing like mm -hmm. it's tissue paper. Yes. I laugh maniacally <laughs> as its strange uh, entrails fly across my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dragging. You see, yes, definitely like bandages are starting right. to like fall off and it's certain, you know, it's kind of limping. It's lost a bit of its poise there, Annabella. That sucked. Try it again. <laughs> and let's do it right this time. Make Mama proud. Fantastic. So I, I do so. too. Chomp, right. chomp. Plus five. Okay, seven! Two seventeen! Yeah! Five. Amazing! Yeah. So you okay. totally hit! Yeah. Uh, Merciful okay. feet, our, our dire wolf totally hits! I'm deaf in the ear now. <laughs> <laughs> so roll your damage. Fourth okay, day. so. Two D six. It has to succeed on a DC 13 strength saving throw or ah. be knocked prone because okay. it's going full at it. Okay, so I, I roll these or you roll that? You, 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 you roll your damage. Yeah, you're gonna get two. Two D six plus three. Piercing damage. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So 17 ten. total? No, ten. No, no. Ten. Oh. ten. Oh, ten. Okay, ten total. Is that not clear? All right, so you're gonna take, <laughs> it'll take half of that. <laughs> um, it's hurting so bad. Now it's gonna make a strength saving throw. DC 13. Do your best. It does not make it. It's, it's prone. knocked down on the ground, yeah. so your dire wolf pounces oh, no, on it. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Mommy. Uh, hits it to the ground and bites in and shakes. Yes! Getting all of its damage in. Yeah. Shit's uh, flying. Yeah, it looks bad. There's just like like bandages and, yeah. and old rotting flesh flying yeah. all over the place. Can he bring me some? Can he be like, look, Mommy did it? <laughs> or is that yeah, too much? He does. He, he looks up at you. He's like uh, happily like he did something okay. right up at you. Mumei, your turn. Is it possible to, because I'm in eyesight from the axe at this it's point. It's right there. It's right there. So I just want to look at it for any traps or any anything yep, that's on it. you'll make an investigation check. I need to investigate it before I grab it, grab basically. It, make an investigation uh, check. Do you want to have her roll it? Oh, yeah. And, oh, and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you look over at that that axe, and it is, it's very ornate, it's got these old, like, undead symbols on it, and you don't see any traps. Ah! But I don't know! <laughs> As a rogue and a bonus action, you can still grab it. I'm grabbing it. You reach out, you put your hand on it, you pull it from the wall. Bad news. You hold it. Oh, God. The little pegs that it was on in the wall seem to kind of pop back up in the no! wall. No! <laughs> What's gonna happen? Uh-huh. These three sarcophagi oh, open. <laughs> Damn it! I'm so sorry. I'm so oh. sorry. I'm so sorry. We barely killed the first. But I got the axe. I got the axe. The three remaining mummies on that side of the room burst up out of their sarcophagi. Their hands coming straight up towards near Ricky. I was gonna lock them. I was gonna ah. lock all the sarcophagi. So hold on. At the same time, a slab dropped, blocking this exit, and another one opened up there. You can see the light continuing down that hallway. Mume, you have a movement. <laughs> I wanna, uh, my idea was that I would take this X and I would hit one of the columns. Okay. And it would sort of like make a domino effect happen with all of these so things. So you can 100% move up to the column and get ready to go and it'll right, be on your can't. next turn that you try that. I have to just make a decision and I think I should just, do you like the column idea? I do. Okay, so I'm gonna get close to this column, I guess. All right, so you jump I'm down off the wall and you run up to that side of the column and you get ready to hit it with but this like, axe. But like, you know, like I'm on the other side of the other <laughs> column though, but, right? But you see me make that see, move though. Yeah. Be perceptive. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah. I just have to Where hope. I just have going? to hope this dude doesn't get up. Otherwise, he could take an attack he of did. opportunity on me when he I move. He's super dead. My donkey's no, eating him. Your donkey. donkey? <laughs> your donkey. Everyone's getting your a little tired. Donkey? I feel. We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna die, and it's all your fault. At least we're in a tomb. <laughs> At least you're in a tomb. It'll be good. Okay. That's you. Got your turn. You're happy. I mean, yeah. I all right, Ricky. What? <laughs> what would you like to do, I don't Ricky, know. with the mummy rot? So I am a cat. Still. You are a cat still. And has the the mummy that's popped up? Has it spotted me? Because I am no. Very I mean, small. it has. It is really, literally, just opened up. It's. Cat. I'm out of here. Okay. I gotta go. Okay. I'm gonna go around to the other side of the big sarcophagus. Okay, great. And uh, make my way t to that small sarcophagus. Yeah, right there is fine. Yeah. Okay. So that, as the cat, is is my movement action, and I'm gonna. 
out of Wild Shape. I'm gonna tap this key on that sarcophagus. Okay. Mm. Ooh, so yes! Tap the key on fuck. it. We should have been doing that to every I single one. I was trying. Oh, honey. <laughs> okay. Timing is everything. Yeah. So you tap the key on that. Yeah. All Ooh, right. That's such a good that's idea. That's his turn. He's, a, he's done it. Oh, yes. Mummy's turn. Yeah, Mummy is gonna get himself up on his feet. I thought he was dead. Yeah. He was not dead. He's Ugh. gonna get up on his feet. Wait, that'll take He out. is going to punch at you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't make it. Good, okay. don't get hit by these things. <laughs> he tries to punch you and as it comes through, it just swishes by Ooh. your face as you're able to do one of these like matrixy things cool, to get cool. out of the way. Viros. I am going to go to the doorway, the exit, and I'm going to motion to everyone to go first. Get out of here now. I will hold the fort. It's the least I can do. Get your asses out of here. It's a good plan. Okay. So I'm holding the door, I'm basically like the, the guard, and I'm making yeah. sure that Annabella and everyone gets out. We may. You can shout Ricky. that, yeah. yeah so I'm just in, using my intimidation here, it's my, my charisma, and I'm uh -huh. like, come on, come on, go! Go, go! Ricky yes. literally Make has haste. Ebola, we should leave. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Beryl, your turn. Okay, Still I gotta hope that this will kill it. Uh -huh. Otherwise this pillar's gonna fall on my head <laughs> and I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, let's do that then. Okay. Two All attacks? Right. Yeah. Go for it. So I got a 21 and a 25. Oh, both of those will hit. Okay. High, high math. Beautiful math. So it's still going, right? Your rage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Absolutely still going. <clears throat> so I got two 11s. Okay. And then a four on top of that. I'm not even going to do the math. Okay. One swipe, two swipe. Yeah. Boom, on the ground. Nice. All right. Dead nice. mummy. Ugh. Okay, Bye. great, 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 great. <sighs> All right, flipping the, the mummy guts off my mm -hmm. axe, I'm then going to attempt to you can move. run your speed. All right. Also. It's Mine's less than everyone else's. It's 40. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. That these are calm. Calm. It's calm. Oh, these are five, right? Yes, those are five. So you can oh. eight squares. Wait, how many did I go? About three, four. Like one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. And then let's do five, six, seven, eight. There you okay. go. Okay, you can actually do, you can go one more because you can do a diagonal. Oh, yeah. So you wanna say you're like there? Sure. Great. Perfect. Cool. You guys are next to the sarcophagus. Yeah, let's yeah. retreat. Let's get All right, out of here. that was Beryl, Annabella. Okay, so as Virus is screaming, everybody get over here, uh -huh. and she's getting ready, and I'm, I'm looking at Mume, and I'm like, this bitch is gonna knock these columns down. I immediately do an <laughs> investigation check to see if there's traps on the other side of that door. Good call. Uh, an investigation check on that. Okay, so you're gonna run up to the door and do an investigation check. Yes. Go do it, absolutely. Okay, and that's just one D20. Roll a D20 and then add your investigation bonus. That's close Good. Eight. Great. But it's plus eight, right? Thirteen. That's good. Okay. You look at it. You, other than the sort of the sort of trap that's are, that you've already seen, where these doors are connected by some sort of vine rope in the ceiling, you don't see any other traps at this door. Yeah. Better out there than in here. Uh, better out there. It seems as though it's. Better oh, it out seems there. yes. You don't. And in the thirty feet, kind of coming on, you don't see anything in that particular area. It okay. So, so can I go outside? You've used your motion to get to, to that just door. Check. Your okay. movement to get to the door, and then a check. Okay. Fantastic. That is on a bell. You can tell your direwolf to do something mm -hmm. now. Come over here. <laughs> you try. It's got a 40 so we can get there. Mume. I am going to hit this column and I'm going to create this domino effect because I'm uh -huh. assuming they're massive columns. They are, they're huge. So I'm going to basically go boom, boom. They're all going to sort of create a, uh, hopefully, a mm -hmm. gate or something mm -hmm. that these guys are too dumb to be able to get over. Fantastic. And that's my plan. So you are going to, because we're going to say it's easy to hit it, it's right there, it's stationary. Yeah, yeah. You're going to make just a strength check to try to hit it with Come all of your might. Guys, uh, why do I have to do a strength thing? It's a fucking magical axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there any sort you of bonus? Yeah. <laughs> is there a bonus? Um, I mean, you can add your strength modifier, obviously. Which is negative one. Negative one. Um, so um, you 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 go to hit it once, and unfortunately, you're just not quite quite strong enough to hit it that way. You can do fancy dexterous things with your bonus action, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you can think of something sort of dexterousy. Well, can't I just sort of like push Maybe and both? It. Legs. You want to like kind of climb on it and give it like use your weight sure. to push it forward? Yeah, or just sort of like. I will allow for that. Okay, but fine. So you you kind of climb up it a little bit on your bonus action and use your own and body weight. And I sort of weight. like take my legs and I just kind of try to jump off of it that okay, way. Okay, as it, as it falls, if yeah. it does. All right, so make an acrobatics Come check. on. 
10, Ten. Okay, plus, plus acrobatics. my acrobatic switches. If, where are you? Seven. Seven. All right, good. So as Annabella is checking this thing and all the rest of you are slowly trying to make you quickly actually trying to make your way out, you see Mume scramble up the side of this thing. She throws her weight into it and as it starts to tip, she launches herself backwards that way. and lands on the ground after her first hit yes. didn't work. The column begins to fall forward. <laughs> It hits all of these four columns, fall to the ground in a crash, yes. a crumble of stone all along this line. Now behind you, it is clear. Behind me, it's clear. Meaning it's all <laughs> fell, they all fell this way. So it's all blocked off there, but it's clear that direction. Do, um, am I have a movement. So I need to get the fuck out. Mm. You can go your speed, probably 30 feet. 30 feet, go. Right, five squares. That seems like too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not really. If you can go down, yeah, you know what to do. Go, 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 go. go. All right, we're gonna go sort of out of initiative nice. now. We're gonna give you guys a chance to do something, and then yeah. I'll give my mummies a chance to do something. We'll kind of go back and forth. So each of you, you moving down into the hall? No. No. You need to lock this shit up. I am going to. So first of all, I can you? Can we like throw the key to each other we and could. be like, or uh, are we attuned I think you're to it? Tuned. No, the key just works. Oh, yeah, let's yeah. fucking toss this shit like yeah. it's hot potato. Well, first, I'm going to down uh, one of my my potions of energy, protection okay. from energy of necrotic energy. You got it. So I have that, and then I'm going to turn around and tap the big old sarcophagus okay. with the key. Oh. Tap the big old sarcophagus Gotta, with the key. Yeah. That's your action. Yeah. So if you want to move and me. And move him in. <sighs> Ta -ta. No! <laughs> Cut on it, no! Oh, stay behind it, oh, like, no. He doesn't yeah. mount it. No. <laughs> so then I turn around and I go, who wants it? <laughs> okay, and you're gonna toss it to someone? Well, who, what, which one haven't we done yet? So right now I've only sealed the far one over there and the big one. Okay, well I'm, you can toss you, it to me, I can do this one on this mm -hmm. end, right? I can't mm -hmm. see you over the second, oh wait, I can see you. <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, so you, here. you toss it around that collar. <laughs> <laughs> to Mume, who fumbles, it drops on the yeah, ground, yeah, but she I goes in and she grabs it and picks it up. It. She taps that one. You've now done two of the four. Toss it. Mume tosses it to Viros. Yeah, because I haven't gotten that oh, one yet. He also fumbles it, but he reaches down, pulls it out of the dirt, and taps which one? The one right next to us. So that's the one she no, just did. Yeah. So you go tap the far one. Oh, sorry, the far one. All right, now. so this is the only one you haven't tapped okay, now. Good. All right, what happens now? I toss it to Beryl. To Beryl. Because if we make it out, you're the last one there. You can you could tap that feasibly, but you yeah. should probably see us out now. Yeah. All right. So you all you all still have move actions as you've been throwing this, except Ricky who right. moved. Everyone else does have a move action plus their tossing. Mm -hmm. So you want to move down? Where do you want to go? I mean, we we're going out. Yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. Yeah, we're getting the fuck all right. out. Because this you show. Lock the door. Yeah. 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 Annabella moves yeah. down. I'm moving down. All right. So yeah. everybody who can move down is going down. Right. Mm -hmm. Here. I need my um. stick. Mume, you're going down as well. Yeah. All right, so Beryl and Ricky are the only ones staying. Beryl now has the key. Yeah, I'm waiting for everyone to leave before I go. Those of you who ran down oh. the hallway, you come to the center of this small octagonal room. You can see that on the wall, there is a section of wall that has these, again, kind of rope hooks at the top, but it's a huge, heavy slab of stone. On the floor, in a mosaic, you see this interesting kind of etching. It's got little ridges where all of these lines are. You also see a set of paints sitting next to it. Oh. We've got four colors. We've got mm, six sides to this. So that's funny because it's sort of it's hexagonal. And then it's not like there's a real path. Maybe there is. Hold on. So yes, you are okay. out in here. You can choose to do something while they're in there. Oh, while they're in there, this is yeah. Our so happening. you guys are in there. Okay. She's still. Are you gonna? You're gonna go tap the other coffin? Is that what yeah, you're gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. You and Ricky. Well, you go do that. Yeah. So you go. So Beryl goes and well, she six. taps. At that moment, yeah. you see all of these 12, guys is, move 20 feet in that direction. Oh, She's indivisible by starting well, to come around and try to so find you. There could still, if, if everything's sort of in a color order, yes. we can still kind of like, if there's, if it's hexagonal <laughs> and there's two of everything, then there's 12, which is dis divisible by four. We have four colors. Right. If so, you want to make an investigation check for a hint, you can. Yeah, I'm doing that. Go please. ahead. Okay, you do that while I just try to yeah. think. Okay, 14 plus 8, so 22. So yeah, 22. Fuck yeah. You're pretty sure it's like a kaleidoscope, and you need to, every single pie slice needs to look the same. Okay. At this point, again, you hear the drag the of bandages against the wall. So this moves another Barrel. 20 feet. Well, get out around. of here. Go. Uh, I think I have an idea. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? What's your These idea? I'm going to block this off the doorway always, once we're on the other side. That How? Yep. This With magic. Uh, I, I was going to do the Let's same thing. Start way. coloring it if Let's you can. Go, go, go. I got go. this. I'm going to run. Okay, go slow, slow enough to. Slow we might actually just want to do. Let's do this. And, that's not the right color. 
already fucked it up. It's okay. okay. Nothing Three, happens burn. when you when you fuck it up. This other one's than blue. <laughs> this one's blue. Go, At go, this go, point, go. you hear okay. go, go, go. the scrape of bandages we'll again so we don't. as okay. they move another twenty feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run you. in after them. Uh, You're running in after yeah. heels. Yeah. You're right on her heels. You guys just get past the dire wolf. Also comes in. You're just past that door. I'm gonna pull out a bright green flask. Gotcha. And then dump it on the doorway. Okay. And it's entangled, so I want the yes, vines to grow out and mesh. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so yes, vines kind of grow out of the stone, out of the mortar. Every little like, like seed that was in dirt comes forward and starts to intertwine. It's covering everything up. Um, again, another couple of feet forward, you can hear the scrape of bandages along the floor. Hurry up, you guys. Trying. Trying. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, pull out another brown uh, flask yes. uh, to do druid craft to increase the amount of foliage that's Amazing. on Amazing. The... As you do your druid craft, beautiful sort of flowers and leaves and 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 vines sprout out, filling in all of the gaps, is, almost yeah, so you can't even see into the other room. Is it is so thick. This is wow. That's impressive. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Now you hear at the back side of that, you hear if anyone and wants to raking join us. against that side of those vines. I got it, we got it. We got this. We got it. Nothing got happens it. on this turn we'll from this. that one. Ah. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm going to reignite my flame blade because okay. it lasts for a while. So you got it? I have it. <laughs> yes. And I'm just going to wait there. Okay, if they you're bust waiting through, until it comes through. I'm readying my action to set the whole thing on fire. You hear more yeah, drags. Now there are two rakes against that uh, stuff. Uh, one of them is able to get one arm through and you start to see a I face. set it on fire. You set it on fire. The arm. <laughs> With the arm. Make an attack roll. Okay. I, I'm, okay. You want to switch? Please. 11. <laughs> 11. Hit! Yeah! <laughs> Go ahead and roll your, your damage. Oh, Go, Ricky! Fire. You, six, nine damage, uh, fire damage. Nine fire damage. Mm -hmm. um, ah. This really seems to work. It lights up on its arm, and it seems to be taking even more damage than you would expect it to. It even retracts its arm. Yes, look at that. As it's going through. <laughs> Good hit, little man. Yeah. Okay, after another 30 seconds elapsed, the two other ones are gonna give a shot to try and get their way through. Try me. One of them makes it, arm comes through. Not on my watch. <laughs> Natural 20! <laughs> this one alights, and even that one you can see, he grabs it, he falls to the ground <laughs> in a flaming heap behind you. It's still moving, trying to get up. How you guys doing over there? Good. Three best. for three. Don't worry about filling it in completely as okay. long as you kind of, as, as long as you like, make sure we know which is which. Like we, we, we know which ones they are. Is there still the blank there, I see. Ah! <laughs> Just don't worry about filling in. Pink, pink, pink. Purple, purple, pink, pink, pink. Pink, pink, pink. He's still his blade. Purple, At this point, uh, the purple, two that are still purple. this guy's supposed to be They're marked. They are going to get a chance to swipe purple, at you while you're purple. in there. Okay. Got it. Uh, I mean, are you, are you standing there with him pink. as well, Beryl? Yes. Pink. Okay, so you'll be there. Uh, one pink. one directed at each pink. of you. Okay. Whoops. Do we still have the disadvantage? This one hits. Do I have the disadvantage? No, it's Darren. That's guy. Oh, no. Are you sure? All creatures? Anybody that doesn't attack me. Great. So disadvantage against you. So we'll do this Which one. is good, because you need it. Misses you yes. against you, however. Uh -huh. Good. Make that guy purple. Uh, yeah, that'll hit you. OK. So. I'd like to jump in the way. OK. What? <gasps> I already have mummy rat. This is purple. All right. Oh. So you okay. jump in the way. You're going to take this mark damage this, from this her. Yeah. I'm going to allow that. I have protection that. against necrotic damage. Yeah. OK, you do have protection against necrotic. You're going to take the bludgeoning. Which is cut in So half six plus three is nine bludgeoning, so you're only gonna take five of that. Okay. Bludgeoning. Oh. You're immune to necrotic? I'm I have I'm uh, not immune. Uh, not immune? Great. What is it? Resistant. Called, right? Resistant. Okay. Hurry. 10, 14. So you will take seven necrotic from that. Oh. oh. We got, we got. <laughs> so this We're small gnome steps in front of this huge oh. half orc barbarian oh. just as the fist it's comes green. through trying it's to punch green, you. Green. He takes right. the full blow yeah. of it and you see it just like like even his no. veins go a little black in front of you. Yeah. While his, but his bravery holds strong. Oh. There's yeah. still oh, some purple. empty spaces. Purple, purple, purple. Oh, purple. purple. Son got of it. a bitch. No, no, no. Got now it. You got it. All right. Got it. At that moment, I'm gonna double check it real quick. I'm scared. Trying to perfect it. <laughs> oh my key. Okay, that was green, but it just became darker. Okay. 
Did you make this? Yes, she made it. At this moment, as soon as you touch that last piece <laughs> of paint to the color, the slab flies up. You see a long, dark tunnel with sunlight at the end of it. Oh, I grab Ricky and <laughs> grab run. Ricky, pull him up in his arms. Everyone else, the dire wolf is hot on your heels. You can see that the two mummies Send behind are starting to pull down to see if there's the anything. vines in the wall. There's no, no there's no time. There's no time. There's I run. run. You all run as fast as you can yeah. down the hall. The mummies are pulling, tearing down the vines as they start to come after you, but you are much faster than them. You reach the end, out into daylight. And we got this motherfucking You're action. fine. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. We're fine, you made it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Guys, we broke oh. God okay. bless you, you no, beautiful okay. little man. <laughs> Fix, Ricky. Can Doctor no, Professor? No, that you, you are a martyr. You continue to walk through the desert, this the long walk home. <sighs> Poor Ricky. He I, cannot regain. Where are you? Ten hit points. Ten hit points. He can't regain it. You even see he seems sort of feeble and can't can't keep it together. His well, eyes closing off. In my arms. You carry him in your Bro, arms. Gently. Sorry. Long sleep. Long sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll fall. Asleep. Yeah, he falls asleep. Sure. He, you're doing everything you can to kind of keep him keep him safe. I wrap him in the magical blanket. Oh, you wrap him in the blanket so he is safe and, and warm. I'm you praying continue. to the gods, please don't let my little brother go. You continue all the way back to the relics and rarities in Bellbrook. You come in, Professor Roundland immediately looks at him. She runs over, puts her hand on his forehead, and she says, give me a moment, and she goes in the back. She literally goes in the back. <laughs> she comes, she pulls out, she's got a long scroll. She places her hand on your head, and she begins to read, whispering in your ear and your curse is removed. Huzzah! He's back, y'all! She says, I'm glad that you are here and you are all right. That Can is the only one that I have. Oh, the bless only you, scroll beautiful woman. that I have. But because of your sacrifice, I am honored to have used it for you. I was brave and profited. The fantastic acts that wow. you brought. Beautiful. Let me this here so you can see. And she tells you this is a an incredible axe that you have brought back. This is a, first of all, plus two weapon. Mm -hmm. yeah. It deals extra radiant damage when you hit undead. Also, once you're attuned to it, you can use an action to sense the presence of undead. And if they have less than 25 HP and you hit it, they make a wisdom saving throw and they are frightened of you until your next turn. It also makes you resistant to necrotic damage while you wield it. However, it is cursed. Anyone who is wielding it experiences one level of exhaustion immediately that cannot be removed by uh, the usual means. But once you kill an undead for each one, you go back up a level. Oh, we should have. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got out, we got out. So you come back, she says, this is remarkable. Uh, I don't know how you survived. It must have been in some part due to Mumei and her incredible expertise in this area. I am sure that it was no small feat. I will tell you that we have been spending a lot of time researching these black onyx gems that came back. Uh, we do know that they are mined in this area, and I promise you that we will continue to look into it, and hopefully I will have more information for you tomorrow. Congratulations, adventurers. You are true heroes. I must say, Ricky, a lot of times when the going gets rough, you run away. And I never shame you for it, for I know that your skills lie elsewhere, but when it came down to the wire, you put your life down for mine. I won't forget it. Here, have some fruit punch. No! <laughs> Don't drink that. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm a potions master. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm glad you're all right, Ricky. Thank you, and thank you all. I'm, I'm sorry if I've been difficult. I know that the, the greed comes out. And, uh, but I assure you, I've never been a part of a team like this, and I just don't want to lose anybody else. Oh. I scoop him up in a big bear hug. Oh. <laughs> Look I'm at your hugging. tribe now. You oh. can't even see him like Do buried I'm within I'm her bosom. There's just <laughs> snot and tears yes. all over uh, him. You're right. <laughs> Mumei, before you take your leave of us, uh, we want to say we are so grateful. And is there anything that you would like to say before you leave? I would like to say that you're all a very interesting, diverse group of people. I've had a great time adventuring with you. And if you ever need someone to just climb things and say everything's <laughs> safe and then create havoc, uh, you know who to call. Thank you, Mumei. Thank, Thank you. you.